Are you tired of tossing and turning on an uncomfortable sleep pad while you're camping? If so, I've got the pad for you. Well, hey guys, what's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today, I have a product that's a brand new release for spring 2021. It's the Trekology Aluft Foam Bed Ultra. And man, is this thing comfortable. This is the Trekology Aluft Foam Bed Ultra. And this is a beast of a car camping mat. It is 77 inches long and offers 28 inches of width, which is awesome. And it also provides a three inch thickness and you are not going to bottom out on this mat. Now here's the disclaimer. This is not a backpacking mat. Obviously this mat is actually really heavy. It weighs six pounds, so it is intended for car camping. You could get away with throwing this on the back of your ATV and heading off into the back country that way, but that's the only way that this guy's getting in the back country because it's too heavy to backpack with. Trekology has some proprietary technology in their valve system, which basically means they're allowed to use it, they own a patent on it, and no other manufacturers are allowed to copy that idea. So we've got two valves, and both of the valves consist of an upper valve and a lower valve. So if you take this lower valve out, that's where you would go to deflate the mat. And the upper valve here allows you to inflate the mat. So you go ahead and start by popping both the valves open. And this mat is going to self-inflate itself up to about 60%. As you probably are aware, there is no true self-inflating mat. They all will self-inflate up to a various degree, and then you have to finish that up by either pumping it up or blowing it up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm car camping, I don't spare any expense. So there's no way I'm gonna sit here and blow this up by mouth. Plus, if I introduce hot air from my lungs into the mat, it does two things. Number one, the air is more moist and more hot. So when it cools down in the evening, I'm actually gonna have less air volume inside the mat. And the second thing is that it introduces moisture inside the mat and could lead to mildew and mold buildup. So I don't wanna deal with either of those things. Instead, I've got one of these climate pumps and I'm gonna throw a link in the description if you guys wanna check this out. But this is just a little backpacking pump and I bring this car camping with me all the time and it will accommodate a variety of valves and it will fit on all climate pads as well. But to use it on the Trekology pad, you just take off this little rubber stopper here. Go ahead, open up the second valve. Just stick that in there. There we go. Then we just plug it up. Nice and firm. This thing beats sucking on air every time. Now you notice the side that we were looking at earlier in the video has the valves and the two valves are located on the bottom of the mat. When you flip this mat around, look at here you have got a pillow. The pillow is more of a pillow shelf, I'm gonna call it. You could use it as a pillow if you went camping and you forgot your regular pillow, but at least for me, I'm a side sleeper. And it's not quite high enough to hold my head. I feel like I'm gonna get a kink here. I'd rather have my head be kind of up in this position like this. But one of the nice things about this being a pillow shelf is that you can put your pillow on here and because it kind of angles up right here your pillow is less likely to slide off the mat and go scooting around the tent in the middle of the night so it's nice that you have that little shelf so that you don't have to chase your pillow around now unlike a lot of other camping mats that you might have tried in the past this one actually has a thin layer of foam along the top and a thin layer of foam along the bottom with an air bladder in between them. So not only are you getting the supportiveness of having 
the air and the tension put on the material by the air, but you're also getting that coziness and cushioning against your joints that the foam provides. And that is why this mat is so spectacularly comfortable. The R value of this mat, I have a lot of high hopes for. When I lay on this mat, I can kind of feel the heat radiating through my body. This could be a good option for winter campers. So I'll have to post an update video later on in the year once the R value testing has been completed on this mat so we can temperature test it. Because so I think this is gonna be a great option for the four season campers out there. This mat is really comfortable. Whether you're a side sleeper or even if you're a stomach sleeper. Let me get on your stomach. The roadkill position? I don't know, you sleep kind of all basically kind of like this, I don't know. But you can sleep in any position that you want to on this mat and you're gonna be comfortable, including those of you who are back sleepers. I really like it. My hips don't dig in. I feel like my back is fairly decompressed. My shoulders aren't pushed forward. I feel like my head's in a good position. And if I had a pillow, it'd be a little better, but I think it's great. This mat is super easy to pack up to. I love, love that it fits back in the original stuff sack. So, And the strategy that I use is to fold it. Kind of kneel on it. Now it will start to self inflate again. So you have to go ahead and close it. remaining here you're gonna take that you're gonna push it down so once you get down here undo the valves again So now we've got it rolled up, giving you a couple of nice elastic straps. Go ahead, put those on there. You don't even have to put it back in the original stuff sack if you don't want to. This material on the outside is very durable. So if you just want to toss her in the car like that, I'll be fine. But you see, look at this, look how easy it goes back in here. This is an extremely comfortable mat. In fact, the only thing that I've ever tried that could compare to this mat in comfort would be the Mega Mat 10 LXW made by Xped. I'm gonna post that link right up here if you guys wanna check that one out. The comfort on this mat just cannot be beat, especially at that price point. If I had to give this mat a rating, I would give it a full five out of five crow rating. That's a perfect score. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up this mat, trying it out for yourself, there are links in the description below. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you guys on the next one.